In this tutorial, we'll take a look at creating a custom site template. When you create a new site or subsite, you select a site template to base the new site on. SharePoint provides several default templates to select from. The site template defines the initial set of components to include in the site being created, such as specific types of lists and libraries. It also defines the layout of the components on the new site. Once you tailor a site to meet your specific needs, you can save the updated site as a new custom site template. The custom site template can then be used as a starting point for creating future sites. That will save time getting new sites ready to be used and provides a way to have all new sites starting with the same uniform look, components, and layout. In this demonstration, I'm working on a site where a subsite will be created for each client project. That way, all project team members have a place to collaborate and store resources for a project. All project sites are to have the same components and layout. Currently, I have one project site named Boyer. This site is based on the standard team site. I'll make some changes to it to better serve as a project site. And then I'll save my revised site as the site template for new project sites. So to make changes to this, I'll click on the Edit button. I'll change this title to Project Description. Then I'll delete this generic text here, which is where the description can be entered. I'll also remove the image by selecting it and deleting. And I'll delete this Getting Started area. A site template can also save any items in the site such as documents that have been added or maybe links to a links list. So I'm going to upload a project document to the document library. So all new project sites will start out with this one document called Project Specs they can fill out. Added to this site already has been a project task list and a contact list titled Team Members. And I'm going to add those web parts to this page. So I'll add the project task list over here in the right. Insert, web part, there's project tasks. And then below the project tasks, I'll add the team member list. Again, I'll insert a web part. Select the team member list and add that. And then over here on the left below the document list, I'm going to add the team discussion list. And the last change I'll make is change the theme of the site so all project sites have the same theme, look and feel. Choose OK to save my changes. So under look and feel here, I'll choose site theme. There's a list of all the different color themes available. And I'm going to choose Mission. So you can see how the whole color theme has changed here for the Boyer site. Now if I go back to any of the other sites, say to the main client project page, accounting, marketing, any of the other sites, they still have the original theme. But as soon as I go to the project site, the only one I have right now, Boyer, it has this different look and feel. So now this is how I want all of the client project sites to look. So I'll save this as my new project site template. So to do that, I'll go up to Site Actions, to Site Settings. In the Site Actions section here, I'll choose Save Site as Template. And I'll enter a name for the template. Just calling it Client Project. And that's the file name, and I'll use the same name for the template name. So I'll just do a copy-paste here. Just insert a space here. And then I'll check the box to include content, so the project document that I had uploaded will be saved with the template as well. And I'll choose OK to save. And then I get the confirmation that it was successfully saved. It tells me to manage this. I can go to the Solution Gallery. One way to get there is use the link that's provided. And this is where any custom site templates will be stored. I can see just the one here that I've created. So you always can go to Site Actions, Site Settings. In the Gallery section, select Solutions. 
Okay, so I'll go back to the client project site. So now I will create a new project site based on the custom template I've just created. Going to Site Actions, New Site. These are all the site templates I have to select from and here's the one I've just created called Client Project. And I just have to give it a name. So I finished filling in the name and then I just have to put in the URL name. Just call this Madison. Go to more options here and display on the quick launch, yes. Use top link bar from parent, yes. And then create. And here's the new project site I've created for Madison School District using the template I created. You'll notice also the document I had uploaded to the template for project specifications. So here's an example of how creating a custom site template can be a real time saver for creating future sites.